This is Glendalough. Transfer here for Scarborough Bus Services. Glendalow Station opened to the rest of the Junlop Line on the 28th of February 1993. It is located at the crossing of the Mitchell Freeway over Scarborough Beach Road, 5 kilometers away from Perth, serving the suburb of Glendalow and Osborne Park. Prior to the 31st of January 2016, every second train used to skip the station during peak periods on a C pattern, which also skipped Leaderville. Nowadays, the Junlop Line does not have any skip-stop patterns anymore, with all trains stopping at all stations. I have just crossed the entrance road to access the station's car park, and now I have to cross this big traffic light over Scarborough Beach Road. This is one of the few stations on the Junlop Line to not have a freeway entrance or exit near the station, others being Warwick, Joondalup since it's not even near the freeway, and Butler as it's past the end of the freeway. The station's bus interchange is quite strange, with a separate section on the western side, as well as three on-road stands here just after the station entrance. These are useful for routes like the 990 High Frequency, which continues through Glendalough to Scarborough Beach bus station, as well as the train replacement buses for a quick departure and a, well, a quick loading time without having to access the um, a separate bus interchange via the traffic light. Here are the three stands and the bins. There's also some artwork on the other side there. And the train bridges above here. Lots of pillars here to support the bridges above. Makes it quite dark. This is quite a dangerous place to wait for a bus next to this main road. And then here at the end there's this little um, U-turn around the curbside or just loop in case buses want to access the on stands the on road stands from the eastbound side of the road and look there's a cell tower over in the industry area yep every station has to have one doesn't it right down here at road level there is a little sheltered waiting area which includes many facilities including the seating and bins on the right side drink fountain a lift and escalators, open station smart rider processors, a good view of the buses out there, a kiosk, information points and a map with all the buses where they can take you around the big lake or the Scarborough beach or anything like that, the toilets also, a ticket machine and phone booth and an information point and outside there is a bike shelter as well as the car park. Now let's go up these escalators. These are in fact the only escalators on the entire network that go up to platform level, since this is one of, I mean, since it's the only Jinla Line station which has like platforms above on the freeway that you access from below, not from a bridge above. Unless you count the escalators leading to Perth main station platforms from the subway underneath. But that's not like from the main entrance. Yeah, okay. We're up here now. This escalator is being maintained, like always on the transport network. Some vending machines and more seating and dot matrix displays. This super weird chair, what 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 the heck is this? Just some legs dangling down. Another ticket machine up on the platform. And another information point. This is because there is a second entrance to the station over on the northern, I mean southern side, which we'll go and take a look at in a second. Um, over at the end down there of the platform, there is a defibrillator and a small little transit officer booth. Here there also is some seating usually, just right now it's not accessible because they're storing the escalator parts here is they always have to maintain escalators in the transport network. And here you would usually get a really good view of trains pulling in. 
if this fence wasn't here. Lots of tactile paving as well leading out of the lift. But that's it for this section of the station where it's covered. Turning around now to the other half of the platform where it's uncovered. This is very bland. The electricity wires above, lighting, some more bins and seating. But there's nothing here. It's quite empty, this platform. Come all the way to the end. Another open station turner processor at the second exit, which is just up this uncovered ramp. At the top, there's a little pedestrian roundabout. Yeah, no, it's just a pillar. But still, here you can go to the left and access the housing there, or the PSP down on the right, which goes all the way along the Mitchell Freeway. And on the left, you can see the new bridge that they actually upgraded the PSP with, that one over there, that was built quite recently. And But the surroundings around here are very industrial, like Osborne Park and all the buildings on the right there. It's just warehouses. Warehouses and storage facilities and stuff like that. Here you can turn right and go over to some other houses. But this exit's only used if you live here or you're a cyclist accessing the station from the PSP. You can see all the houses down here with orange roofs down in the valley and that apartment block which has some um, cell infrastructure on it. Wouldn't want to live there. Nice cloudy day. Okay, but that's it up here. Let's head back to the platforms now and see a few bus and train clips. You can see a train's pulling in right now. Let's start with this clip. The station is rated 4 stars. Downsides being that half of the platform is uncovered and bland, and there's a dangerous on-road bus area. Thank you. 